three, it's nice to uh, finally uh, get back in the win column. Oh, definitely, man. Uh, you know, it's been a it's been a great experience for us being here in this tournament. Played two really good teams. You know, uh, not to take anything away from any of those teams, but we we did. We're watching film. We did make a lot of mistakes, and uh, you know, we, we we hurt ourselves in a lot of areas. But you know, being able to get one win and go back into back to Murray uh, for great practices and game Wednesday, game Saturday, we try to look at, look to get things rolling. I know Coach uh, likes to emphasize defense today. The defense really stepped up with 21 turnovers. Talk about uh, how well y'all played on that end. Right. Uh, just watching film, man, we, we see that we have to do a better job in, that, in being in the gaps. You know, when, when the guard may get beat off a dribble, you know, there, there's a teammate right there to help him. And it's just about trust, being in the right spots and shifting over and things of that sort, which really helped a lot. This was a pretty close game for a while. I and mean, you guys got a couple runs. What was it that you guys were able to do to kind of push yourselves ahead? Uh, man, to be honest, I think it started in the locker room or, or the last night, actually, after that game, man. Uh, you know, we met, talked with the guys, and, you know, the biggest thing I, I said to them was, man, uh, it's teams teams practicing two, three hours. It's teams, you know, maybe even teams going as hard as us. And, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about being tired and things of that sort. And, you know, it's just a mindset. Be able to be able to not think about being tired or, you know, we're telling each other that we're going to do these things, but now it's about actions, and that's what we're trying to do now, just just act instead of speak. And you had a pretty big game yourself, 20 points, 10 rebounds. You had a pretty good effort out there tonight. Yeah, um, you know, it was rough for me those first two games. I made, I seen a lot of double teams, and, you know, I tried to, I tried to crash the boards as hard as I could, but, you know, uh, teams are emphasizing on me and Farrell, you know, being more physical on boxing us out. And, uh, you know, that's what I just try to do every time I step out on the court, be as, be as dominant as I can on the glass. Can you talk about that play a little bit, the play at the end there? Uh, yeah, uh, every day in practice, we always end practice with, you know, uh, last second shots and things of that sort. And this play is actually, you know, that was the first time I ever, ever caught the lob. Even in practice, they never throw the lob. So, you know, uh, having my teammates trust me. And, uh, you know, we actually made the call ourselves to win the play. Uh, Coach P was calling something entirely different, but my teammates, you know, they, they, they had trust that, you know, if I screen good and, you know, roll hard to the basket, Jeffrey would be able to make a good pass and could finish. And good words from senior Jarvis Williams there after the win over Drake on Sunday at the Challenge in Music City. You know, uh, you, you see Jarvis, uh, one of the senior leaders on the team, uh, th they were having to endure that Friday close loss, Saturday blowout, and all that too. Uh, the guys went through a lot this weekend. But you could just see from his resolve there, they're, they're determined that uh, they're going back to work this week. You know, we obviously have a lot of corrections to make. Yep. Uh, we obviously got to get better on the defensive end. We obviously have to start making some shots and making mm -hmm. free throws. I'd be really worried if we'd have played Drake yesterday and gotten beat 10, gotten beat 15. Right, right. Then I'd come home and say, hey, we got some serious, serious issues that we need to address and fix quick. We, we have to have a sense of urgency on the defensive end. Uh, we'll start focusing on that tomorrow. That'll be all of our focus mm -hmm. uh, really for the next two weeks. And the good thing about it is we can get in here during finals week and, and really clean some things up. And then we've got the Christmas holidays to right. really get in there and get in here extended time and work and get better. So, you know, I know I'd say this jokingly, but we're a game ahead where we were last year. Mm -hmm. And we ended up winning 23 games and playing for a conference championship. Um, so. We've got good basketball ahead of us. I've got total confidence in that. We've got good players. We've got to continue to uh, build our depth, uh, figure out our rotation. Uh, but we've got to start putting consecutive stops together. We are uh, uh, recording our show here in the CFSB Center on Monday morning. Uh, the Racers got back from Nashville on su Sunday evening. So let's uh, show you what's coming up this week for the Racers. And that's a Wednesday night game uh, against Bethel here at the CFSB Center. And uh, we were also uh, collecting toys uh, for the, 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 the Needline uh, toy collection. So if you bring a, uh, a package toy to the game, you get a free general admission ticket. Uh, and that's a men's win women's doubleheader uh, as the, the women play Evansville first. And then on Saturday, it's a men's game only. And take a look at that starting time. Uh, it's 5.30, so it's a little earlier on Saturday as the racers meet uh, arch rival Western Kentucky. Uh, and that game will be on the new American Sports Network. And if you check GoRacers.com, I'll be putting up uh, all the different places that you can see it. But you can see it locally on WQWQ out of Cape Girardeau. So, uh, Coach, you, you get back to work. You know, Wednesday night, you, you mentioned uh, on radio yesterday, 
Wednesday's more about you guys, but then Saturday you, you got a really good Western Kentucky team coming in. Yeah, we got to just do us for the next couple of days, yep. and then we'll, 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 we'll get ready for Western. Uh, we all know the, the meaning of that game, yep. and we got tremendous respect for their program, and they had a tremendous win in New York the other day, beat a great St. Joe's program, and they got a really good senior Indian team with T.J. Price and George Fant leading the way. So, you know, it's a great rivalry. Uh, love coaching, love being a part of, the, of it, and we'll, we'll be ready to go. And, you know, we just got to we just got to continue to get yeah. better, and 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 we'll do that. All right, coach. Let's. That, thanks for stopping by, and it's great to uh, to be getting into basketball shows. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's Enjoy we're ready to go. You. Um, you know, we'll 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 put we'll get this thing we'll get this thing going. And this is the big the biggest time right now is we need people to come out and yeah. and, and be awesome supporters Wednesday night and be you know even better supporters on Saturday and and uh, come out and support these guys, and we'll, we'll get it right. We'll That's, get it right. i got total confidence in that. All right, Coach. Uh, we'll, we'll cut it off from there, and we'll see you next time on the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm. We'll see you next time here on GoRacers.com. The front court lost the ball, though, and the Racers you get a run out. It'll be Sapp taking it to the hole and jamming it in. From defense to offense, there's, there's right side. Madison tries to get past Jarvis Williams, and it's stolen by Moss. Two on two, fast break. Moss crosses by to get his man, puts it off the glass and in for a Regents Bank Bank shot. Great Want that see. shot, throws left side to Moss. Mid block, it goes to Williams. He finds Seymour for the catch and shoot. Rhythm three, and he knocked it down. Langston for the rebound, off to Flomo. Right side, Moss sees an opening, drives baseline, and hits the layup, a Regents Bank Bank shot. Jeffrey Moss passed up a three-pointer. Goes left side to Flomo. Seymour, floater in the lane, rattles in. Seymour with seven, racers back up. He gets a screen, that leaves him open for three and he drained it to tie the game. Good ball movement that time. Goes to Flomo, to the top, back to Payne, splits two defenders, floater in the lane, actually is a pass to Williams who put it up in Fabulous the Fabulous job. To Sapp, Sapp into the right corner to Rambo, he drives, sees an opening, puts it up and in. Racers with a spread offense there. Four. Rambo now gets it to him. Rambo jump pass, deflected to Payne. He puts up the 17-footer, it's good. Off the deflect shot, down to four, three, drives in, forced it, Payne blocked it. Sapp leads Rambo, he'll catch it, put it up and in. Three, Berkeley and Carrot with three. Foul situation, inbounds, it comes to Sapp. For a wide open three, they didn't draw down on him and he got it. He'll dribble it up, throws into the corner now to Sapp. Lobs it inside to Williams, off the glass and in. Good look by T.J. Sapp. And will dribble toward the left side. Finds Sapp for an open look in the corner. He hits the three. Lakers on him briefly, gives it up to Sapp. Now right side, Seymour catch and shoot from 18, good. Good unselfish offense for the last three possessions. on it, So it could be close to two and it could be just one. Lob for the dunk, it goes to Williams, put up and in, how about that, baby? Right side, five seconds, out top, drives in for the floater in the lane, and he hit it. Campaign has been told. And the racers can dribble out the final seconds if Drake will let them in, they do. So the racers, not really what they came down here for, but they take third place, the best they could do today. They defeat Drake by a score of 67 to 59. The Racer Report with Chris Hatcher is brought to you by Ruth Brothers Wine and Spirits. Serving you for 50 years, Ruth Brothers with two locations in Paducah, Kentucky. And by Pepsi Mid-America. Share your summer picks on Twitter with hashtag RealBigSummer. And by Campus Evolution Villages in Murray. The best in student living. Call 270-767-1818 to plan your tour and visit. And by Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here.